In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a patch pocket. First, you have to decide where to put your pocket. You first you try on your sweater, you put the pocket on top and you fix it somehow. In my case, I have used some hairpins to fix it. And now the first step is to take a needle, the same size that I have used to knit the sweater. And I have to pick up some stitches along the bottom line. So I turn I turn it so that it is easier to pick up stitches. How many stitches do I need? First I count how many stitches I've got here. I also have it written in a pattern, but I don't want to look for it right now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I've got 24 stitches. Remember that the two stitches are the eight stitches. So instead of 24, I need 22 stitches. So I, I need 22 stitches approximately here. So I pick up 22 stitches. One, two, Three, four, five. Make sure that you are picking up sti the stitches from the same row. Okay, let me see if I have the right number now. Now I've got all my stitches. Before you continue, make sure that you are not picking up stitches also from the other layer, okay? The first thing that I have to do is to remove all the pins that I have used and then transfer all these stitches onto a spare needle. Now I've got my pocket stitches transferred to a spare needle and then we can start joining them. I flip the pocket to the other side. Okay, so now I have the wrong side of my pocket facing and the right side of my garment facing together and now I do a free needle bite off. First, I have to bite off the first stitch of my pocket because this is going to be the same stitch. The first thing that I have to do is to bite off one stitch because the first is the first stitch is the, an H stitch. So we pass the rightmost stitch over the second stitch. Put it back on my left needle. And now I do a three needle bite off. Put both needles parallel to each other. You have to do it her right. Since I have to run side facing me. So instead of doing a knit two together, we do a pearl two together. Okay. It's easier if you transfer the stitch from the stitch from the needle behind to the needle in front, then pair both together. Now I've got two stitches on my red needle, so I pass the rightmost one over the last one, and so on all the way to the left. Again, for the third stitch, first I transfer it to the needle in front it just makes it easier to work, you don't have to do it. Put both together, then bite off another stitch, all the way to the left. Now I'm going to show you how it looks afterwards. If you flip over, this is what you will see later. 
Now I've got my last stitch left, so I just fight it off regularly. And then I can cut my yarn and pull it through. Okay, I will need to use this yarn and to seam this edge, so I need this length should be enough, more than enough. So I'm going to cut it. First, I want to show you how it looks on the right side. I pull it through. Okay, here I've got my pocket and I flip up to, to get it ready. First, I pass my needle back to the right side of my pocket. And then I sew it through the main fabric. And again, I sew it through the pocket. All the way to the top. Make sure that you're working through the same column of stitches. I'm not actually counting them. You, you can count them if you like, but it should be fine even without counting them. I have already blocked both the pocket and my garment, so it is easy to seam if you have already blocked your knitting. The difference between this version and the integrated pocket version is that here we have got the raised edges and I really like the look of the raised edges and it looks more polished in my opinion. But if you are not confident about your finishing skills, probably it's best to use the integrated pocket option. And also with the patch pocket option, you can choose the best position since you're adding the pocket afterwards. And now I've worked half of the pocket and I just have to seam the other side. Just like before, but instead of going from the bottom of the pocket to the top of the pocket, this time I will go from the top of the pocket towards the bottom of the pocket. Just because I have got a yarn tail already in place. If you don't, if you don't have a yarn tail, you can join your yarn here and start from the bottom to the top, like the other side. Now I'm working on the other side of the pocket seam. First, make sure that you are on the same row. So check that you're actually on the same row, okay? And then also look in this direction to make sure maybe you cannot see to make sure that it it is in the same column so should be seaming along this line so I should put in my needle here just double check that it is actually aligned okay so first I put my needle inside this this point and then just like before I make the needle go out one stitch beneath it Then I take two stitches and go all the way down. Every time when I do a stitch, I pick up two bars from this layer. 
and then I seam it through the other layer. Now I have to thread my needle again. all the way down to the bottom here it is the finished pocket and I also turn it to the wrong side so you can see it. this is the wrong side of the pocket 